let's uh, just give our guest from Bangladesh uh, some time. Uh, you were, you are recipient of two prestigious awards, one from Bangladesh and one from India, the Padma Shri. But you also carry a death sentence that the Pakistani has pronounced from you from 1971 and apparently still not withdrawn. What's the reason? Well, sir, uh, I have received a number of awards, as you said. In the Liberation War, I was awarded a Veer Chakra, which is, of course, we call it Veer Pratik. I felt very happy. Please. And I felt very happy when I was given uh, our Shadinata Padak uh, equivalent of Bharat Ratna. I felt very happy. But the Pakistanis also gave me a very big award, awarded death sentence, which generally we don't get. That's, I'm still happy that they haven't withdrawn it. That's the only and the biggest um, example of my patriotism, actually. And actually, they have a reason. Because in the Battle of Shakargar, whose plan I brought, Indian army penetrated 66 miles inside Pakistan, crushing through their defenses. And in the command post, I have come later on, they are screaming that AROP Sajjad is sitting in the AROP and directing fire. I was not there. So, and that's the reason they also burnt our houses, killed some of my relatives. My father, my mother, and my sisters had to run away to India. My mother became very sick in the refugee camp and later on didn't survive. So there is a tragedy behind every comedy also. But then Indians helped us so much in 71 war. And I could at least help the Indian soldiers in the Western Front. And that's my pride, my privilege, and my submission that we could pay a little bit for them, although my family suffered so much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. I just wanted one thing. I mean, this must have been the most difficult decision because you, will be, you would have been called as a traitor in your own country, which was Pakistan at that time. That must have been one of the bravest decisions to move out and actually come with these plans. What prompted you to do that? The tragedy of Hamlet, actually. To be or not to be. To do or not to do. I am very well-trained officer, Pakistan's elite 14 para brigade. I know their tactics very well. I know how to fight as a commando. And I am sitting in Pakistan and my people are being slaughtered. What's the hell? What the hell life is all about? You have to fight for your country. And a soldier is never scared. And I took the decision alone. But I was three people inside me, me, myself, and I. So I took all decisions by myself. But before that, I indirectly talked to a number of Bengali officers. But they said, you have a 5% chance of escaping. You are being watched. You will be caught and shot. And I said, I'm smarter than them. And 71 war has also proved that I'm smarter than them. <laughs> so that's all right. And finally, sir, from you, because we are running out of time, but I'll give one, one more, uh, a little more time to both of them, uh, is India and Bangladesh, you know, our relations have been up and down, sorted very many times. What needs to be done now, you feel? Sir, uh, the, uh, I'm very happy that the, our generation recognizes each other. We feel for each other. The blood of the Indian soldiers, are still flowing and will flow through Padda, Meghna, Jamuna, and Tista for eternity. And that legacy has to be kept. I am a little sorry to report to you. Our new generation and your new generation do not recognize 71 in the way we do. That is the biggest victory we had. That's a victory of humanity, victory of suffering community. And 1,602 soldiers were martyred inside Bangladesh. More than 12,000 wounded. Now we are honoring every Indian martyred soldier, and I am very pleased to tell you that Honorable Sheikh Hasina has given me the responsibility of doing that work, and by the end of this year, we'll finish the job, so that our people remain grateful. An honorable country is, all a, is a country which is grateful. And we must remain grateful. And the new generation of Indians should get closer and we should have more communication. It was not an ordinary war. It was a people's war. And in the people's war, leadership was given by your officers like General Shankar Rai Chaudhuri at that time. He was a young major, but still he looks very young. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> so the legacy of blood should carry forward. It's not for only talking. The spirit should talk. Right. The spirit should be taken up and the torch should be now carried by the young generation so that the legacy of blood goes from generation to generation and that will become and make our country more friendly, more prosperous, like in 71. Together we fought in 71, together we'll prosper in the centuries to come. That's what I personally feel. Thank you.